Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be adding animations to the Sprint system in Roblox Studio, so a lot of you guys asked for it. Anyways, inside of the starter player, inside of starter character scripts, just add in your local script. And then here you can just copy and paste the code from my Sprint video, like that. Now, what we're going to need is that we're actually going to need to run animation, so you can exit out of the script. And inside of the avatar tab on the top, you go ahead and make a new rig. And then inside the animation editor, you can go ahead and click on this rig and just name it Run. Now that we have our animation set, we can actually make our animation. So I'm going to click on this plus right here. I'm going to add in the entire body. And now I'm going to make a simple animation. So maybe an arm back an arm forward, a leg back, a leg forward I mean, and then one more leg right back for the first keyframe and then about maybe this mark, gonna go for about this leg back, this leg forward, and the same thing with the arms again. And then you can go ahead and just copy and paste the first keyframe right here right at the end. And I'd recommend just moving this one to the center so it's all even. And now as you can see we got our decent run animation or whatever. And to make it look a little different than Roblox's animation which I just realized I'm just gonna add some weird things to it. So let's make his arms go out a bit. Maybe in or just twisting way too much and then you know just for the sake of difference I'm also just gonna get rid of the last one and copy these keyframes again just to make sure they're all the same so now that we have our run animation I'm going to go ahead and click on the three dots here I'm gonna set the animation priority just to core we can keep it on core actually and we're just going to publish to Roblox. Just realize this has two U's in it, so it just runs fine. Go ahead, submit that, then copy the ID like that. Now we can actually just delete our dummy if you want to, unless you want to go back and change something in the animation. Now inside of our local script, we're going to want to go ahead and add in a um, an animation. Just like this and inside this animation you can paste your animation ID and then just up here inside our variables we can go local animation will be equal to script animation and then our local humanoid will be equal to script parent and then dot humanoid actually you can do wait for child humanoid that's always better to do just in case the humanoid hasn't loaded in yet now we need our anim track so I'm going to get our anim trap equal to humanoid load animation and then we're going to say our animation right there and then over inside of our shift to sprint just right at the bottom I'm going to set oh, I'm just going to tell our anim track to go ahead and play just like that and the same thing up here gonna tell our anim trick to go ahead and play like this anyways this should be working now well one thing though I forgot about this don't set it to play set this to stop right here because that sets the is printing to false and that's when the walk speed and everything goes back to normal so we don't want them to run like that all right so one thing i've forgotten we need to go ahead and say uh script wait for child animation just like that now we can go ahead and test it so i'm walking like this you know it's pretty normal but then when i start sprinting you can see our walk our run animation that we had made starts playing which is quite weird but also cool indeed so yeah anyways this is how you add animations to it make sure to subscribe